Our Adventures of Biggles. The death of a former Nazi official, missing plans of secret government armaments, the presence of Erich von Stahlhein with his confederates, the European Zolotov, and the Negro cutthroat Napoleon Morgan, all these factors have brought the air police to the West Indies on a difficult assignment. Von Stahlhein and his gang have the advantage at first. They have stolen important photographs and Hagen's yacht, the Vega. But Beagles has a lucky break when his information leads him to the island of Great Inagua. It seems likely that this was the island on which Hagen hid his documents. Accompanied by Sergeant Tom Haymans of the Jamaica Police, the flyers put down their machine on Man War Bay. Tom goes ashore with Ginger and Bertie to stretch his legs, but he makes an important discovery. There are footprints in the sand. Ginger identifies one set as Napoleon Morgan's. Narrow shoes with, with long pointed toes. I noticed him wearing them the night he grabbed us in Kingston. Sizzling sausages, that's bad. The blighters were here before us. You think they've found the papers? Well, they may have, old Bean. But they haven't scuttled off for them yet. I'll take a bet on that. Oh, how do you know? For well, those footprints. They were made in the last few hours, or I'm a Dutchman. You know, you're a cloth sometimes, but I think you're right about that. But how does it prove they haven't left the island? Obvious, my dear Watson. We'd have seen the blighters from the kite as we came in. Biggles said he didn't see a yacht of any kind after we left Jamaica. But they might have the papers. If they have, it's going to be some job to get them away. Oh, I don't know. There are five of us and only three of them. Oh, I'll bet there are more than three. Von Stahlhein doesn't know anything about saving a yacht. And somehow old Zolotov scarcely looked the yachting type to me. Well, they'll have brought a crew, all right. Napoleon Morgan's cutthroat, probably. You see, there's another point, Thomas L. Trout. We're peaceable, quiet living citizens. Old Stahlhein's gang are a bunch of belly killers. They won't worry about cutting an odd throat here and there to stop us pinching the jolly old clans. Well, it doesn't sound as if this trip's going to be very funny. Bertie! Oh, no, what's old Algy laying an egg about? What hell, Trout? Biggles wants all of you back here on the kite. He's ready to give you your instructions. Absolutely, old Bean. Tootling back forthwith. Oh, all aboard the jolly old dinghy, fellas. It seems that the fun is about to start. Well, sorry to interrupt your exploring, but Algy and I have worked out our campaign. I want to get cracking on it at once. Before you go too far with it, Biggles, have you reckoned that von Stahlein and his boys are on the island? I've worked on the possibility that they might be. They are. We saw their footprints on the beach. Did you, my Jove? Hmm. I don't think that should alter our plan, do you, Algy? Uh, it makes it more definite. It's just as well we decided to look for them. You see, blokes, there are three distinct jobs necessary here. There are the papers to find. That's number one priority. Then the kite will have to be guarded. Baked potatoes, yes. Particularly with those slimy reptiles swizzling around. And there are the slimy reptiles themselves. It's not enough to know that they're on the island. We must know where they are and what they're doing. You're going to find the crooks, are you? Yes, Tom. Not that I want to capture them. Prisoners would be a darn nuisance. But so that we can establish their movements and protect ourselves against any trickery. And if they already have the papers, uh, we'll want to pinch them. Exactly. So instead of giving von Stahlhein and his pals a wide berth, as I'd like to, we'll have to go gunning for them. All clear so far? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes. And because of the three objectives, we'll have to split into three groups. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Ginge. You're going to be frightfully lonely by yourself. Oh? What do you mean? Oh, three into five gives two lots of two and a one. Yes, it is going to be lonely for you. I'm not doing anything by myself. I'm, I'm, com I'm coming to that now, LT. He, Algy, will be in charge of the search for the papers. And, Ginge, you'll go with him. Aha! What do you make of that, Clot? Shocking choice. Positively shocking. And as it's likely to be dangerous, I'll look for the crooks. Tom's more interested in them than the papers, so he can join me. Ah, oh, that's the spirit, Earl Sausage. <laughs> I like to see these young constables... A hey! That leaves me. Does it? Well, then, you'll have to keep an eye on the kite, won't you? This is outrageous, <laughs> belly disgusting. I mean to say, we, Lissy, the men of action. A perfect choice, Biggles. Positively perfect. Uh, 
How long do you think it'll take us, Algy? Oh, I had reckoned on about three hours to get there and back. Uh, it's only about four miles to the lagoon, but this confounded thorn bush is going to slow us up. Uh, yes, it's awful, isn't it? I've cut the pieces already. It's so darn thick. Still, maybe we'll push out of this belt in a few minutes. Uh, uh, oh, don't try to go too fast, Algy. That, that branch swung back on my face. Oh, sorry, Ginge. I'm a bit worried about it, though. We're still only a few hundred yards from the beach. Oh, by George, yes. Four miles of this stuff won't be too pleasant. And then there'll be the four miles back, mm. and... Uh, I say, Algy, mm. what's that through there? Looks like a clearing. It is a clearing. But what's in it? Well, if I didn't know differently, I'd say there were houses. That's what they are. They can't be. The only habitation on the island is at Matthew Town, miles away. I remember Biggles telling me, years ago, there was a settlement at Manowar Bay. This must be it. Then we'd better go carefully. Empty houses tempt some people, and von Stalin might have been through here. Oh, let's dodge round it. I don't like the look of the place anyway. No, we'll have a look at it, but be on your guard. Come on. <coughs> oh, I, I wish we had gone round it. It's creepy. Oh, no, just a group of crumbling houses. It must have been the church over there. Oh, yes. Good grief, you can still see the pews and the pulpit inside. Falling to pieces like everything else. Oh, 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 careful, God. Ginge, watch where you're walking. Oh, I tripped over a rock. No. It's a... It's a tombstone, Algy. We're in the graveyard. All right, all right, there's no one else here. But, but the graveyard... Now, don't wish ghosts on us. You and Bertie are a bit keen on that. It's not a case of being keen... But how can you think of anything else when you're stum stumbling among tombstones? I'm not afraid of running into ghosts. It's solid flesh that I'm scared of. Three particular lumps of it. <sighs> no sign of the cook so far. We'll explore the houses. This one over here looks fairly solid. Mm. No, I wouldn't like to live in it. If you leant on the wall, the whole darn place would collapse. If it gives some shelter, we'll make sure. Uh, don't go in, Algy. It's it's dark. No nonsense. I'm going to see if anyone else has been. Great Scott! Well, what is it? Uh, get it off me, quick! It's on the face. Oh, 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 it's it's all right. It's only uh, a spider's web. Uh, hang on. Well, there's a big spider on your head. Well, for Pete's sake, do something. Stand quite still. I'll, I'll knock it off. Uh, there, I I stamped on him. You uh, can wipe the web off yourself. That won't hurt you. Oh, horrible darn stuff. I thought I'd walked into one of your confounded ghosts. <laughs> you feel like inspecting any more houses? No, I've seen enough of this village. We're going on. Oh, oh this is... This mud is worse than the belt of thorn bush. Yeah, this is worse than anything. I'm mud almost up to my knees. Uh, it's even even more desolate than ordinary mud. This salt over the surface makes it makes it sort of foul, doesn't it? I mean an old lake, I suppose. Uh, it seems to me that half the dashed island goes underwater at some time or another. Uh, uh, you know. I call it an island of the dead. When I first saw it, mm. I was right. The island's dead, all right, but there's plenty of life in it. Birds, lizards, and these confounded land crabs. There are so many of them, I feel they're going to swarm over me at every step. I, I don't think they'll hurt us. They seem more keen to duck out of our way. Maybe. I'll be glad when we get to the lagoon. I know that much. Not much more of it, Algy. There's another belt of thorn bush ahead. Oh, thorn bush. Oh, blimey. Uh, 
Oh, there's a track here, Algy. Mm. Easier going. Thank goodness for that. I'm nearly dead. Ah. Yes, it's a bit better. It seems to be leading the way we're going. Ah. I wonder what made it. Ah. Who cares? I do. The going's hard enough without having von Stalin's boys popping out of this. Oh, they didn't make it. It's too old for that. An animal track, I'd say. Mm, I suppose so. It'll do for the moment anyway. <sighs> Hold it, Archie. Huh? Good grief. What is it? Wild pig. A boar. Monster, isn't he? Don't know that I care for him much. He, he doesn't look friendly. <laughs> Blast him. Why does he have to stand fair in the middle of the path? He's thinking the same about us, I think. I'm going to slip past him. I'll duck into the bushes and... Look out, Algy! He's coming at you! Look out! With a squeal of hatred, the immense pig flings himself at Algy and knocks him to the ground. Will he be injured? Can he and Jins find the missing papers in this terrible country? There'll be excitement and suspense in the next chapter episode of The Air Adventures of Biggles.